closing costs are expensive and being able to afford them is one of the biggest obstacles that homeowners face when looking to refinance their mortgage. Closing costs cover expenses such as application fees, pulling your credit report, loan origination fees, appraisals, inspections, surveys, title fees, and discount points. They typically cost between 2% and 5% of the loan amount. And in 2020, closing costs for a single family home in the United States averaged $3,398. So it's easy to understand the appeal when a lender offers you a no closing cost refinance. But the term no closing cost refinance is a misnomer. All the closing costs associated with a regular refinance still need to be paid. They're just not paid upfront. Instead, the closing costs are either added to the principal balance of your new loan or paid by your lender and recouped by charging you a higher interest rate. So in either scenario, your monthly mortgage payment is going to be higher. No closing cost refinancing is recommended only for homeowners in certain situations. One, you don't have the cash on hand to pay your closing costs up front. Two, you have the cash, but you don't want to use it and instead you want to hold on to it for emergencies or other expenses. Three, you want to renovate your home without taking out a home equity loan, which usually comes with a higher interest rate than a mortgage. Or four, you plan to sell your house or pay off the entire loan within five years. So in this case, you would avoid paying the closing costs upfront and you would avoid paying interest on them for the entire term of the loan. In any case, when it comes to money, I believe it's wise to evaluate all of your options. Homeowners should look at the short-term and the long-term costs of a regular refinance versus a no closing cost refinance to determine the best choice for your situation. I hope this helps you feel better prepared for a bright financial future.